how to work with faces that are inside an object and how to connect two objects that just touch each other. Hello everyone, this is a follow-up video from the Laurel Reed um, tutorial that I did in the previous video and I've shown how this was connected in such a way that it left inside uh, faces. So in this video I'm going to cover basically three main topics. One is how you actually should connect them so you shouldn't have this problem. The second thing is once you already have such a problem, how do you actually remove the inside faces? And the third thing is, how do you detect them? In this case, I know when it happens, but if you get an object like this, like how can you find out that this actually has faces inside? So to get started, I'll bring back the very basic object. So this is the basic object we have been dealing with. So these are two, let me just show you what the problem here. So this was created using a torus one and then the other one. And if you isolate this for a second, you see that they have faces over here. So there's a face over here. If I go to polygon mode, you see I can select this face. There's a face over here. And similarly, the other object has another face. So first thing, how do you create them correctly? So the first option, obviously, is you can simply delete these faces before connecting them and you can merge them together. Uh, the second option is actually you can merge them while the faces are still here. If you do merge, but you choose the option to remove the inner faces. And in this case, you can see it tells you to remove 16 faces plus 10 vertices that was merged over here. The third option is, if I'm going to combine them, let's say, without um, this option on, so it, it still left the faces in. So to remove the vertices, but it still left the faces inside. If I look inside over here, you can see these are the faces over here, that are here. Um, I can go to geometry clean, and I can basically remove interfaces, uh, interfaces, that's basically what I want. So I can remove the interfaces, it, it removed the 16 faces over here. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, so again, but this is only if I know where the problem is. So I'm basically, um, I knew how to connect them, I know where the problem is. And also, um, but if I don't know, I need to still solve a problem, how to see it and how to remove the inside faces. But also, this only works to remove duplicate faces and merging only works because they were really coplanar. Coplanar means they were basically just the faces were touching each other. This actually, as I showed in the previous video, the designer brilliantly aligned them together. So they're perfectly aligned. But if you have something that is not perfectly aligned, this won't work because they're not technically duplicate. They're like a little bit in and out and then you can have problems. Um, so how do you do that? So. The first thing what I would show over here is, let's say isolate. So I take any of these, doesn't matter which one, and I'm simply going to select this face and I'm going to extrude them. So I'm adding basically an extension, extra extension to it. doesn't matter how much I extrude them a little bit. And then I'm going to scale it down a little bit. So it's not sticking out, something like this. So the scale will obviously only scale from the last cut over here because this break wouldn't touch it. So if you're going to look at these objects together you wouldn't even notice that something is here but if you look inside to it you can see this actually scaled inside there is inside but this is enough for the stitch and scoop tool union to basically um, keep them to, uh, to remove to detect their faces inside and now it's completely removed everything so this is basically here um, how you do it the correct way you just have to make sure they go in a little bit and to clean it up this way. Now, I just want to show you here another thing here, the difference actually. So if you look over here, the wireframe, these are actually all um, quads, they're nicely aligned. If you do, let me make sure without scaling this, okay? So just to show you, if I did this approach the way it was done before, um, it's basically left the faces inside, which I've shown in the previous video. But not only this actually converted everything to triangles. So I've shown in the previous video the idea that you can actually go to resolution, set it to zero, and this turns it back into quads. Uh, but I'm still left with the problem with the inside faces here that they are selected. So, okay, so I've shown now the way that how you can actually do it using the merge, or if you use stitch and scoop, you have to make sure the faces go inside and, and then it will work. But what if you have it already like this and you don't actually know what the problem is? And the first thing I wanna show you here is how you can actually select inside faces. So if I'm going to select here, you know, basically you cannot really select them. 
um, even if you're going to zoom into it so you can basically zoom inside to an object you can actually see these faces over here but you can't really select them because they are blocked from the outside faces block them so you can't really select these faces so you can zoom in to look to it but there's no way to select them um, i've shown this in other videos that we have the x-ray mode so if i turn on the x-ray mode um, basically this way and then if i select like this it selects everything in its path which means it also selected the inside faces as you can see so here's a little neat trick that i can go back I can use the x-ray mode to select the inside faces and then I just need to deselect the outside. So how do I do that? I hold down my control key and I select again, but this time because it's no X-ray mode, it will actually deselect only the faces that are visible, but I just have to rotate from all sides, make sure everything is selected. And now I have these inside faces just selected. So the way I'm gonna show it to you, I'm gonna go split, split them off, and let's say now isolate. You can see we actually have these faces selected and actually there are two faces so let's take a look if i can select them yes you can see over here these are just touching each other so it kind of gives you this effect where it's it's called flickering effect so they actually stitch together even so that's interesting they actually stitch together but they're two faces on both sides and i can just delete them and basically voila that's cleaned up okay um but again in this case it's still the thing that i knew what i'm looking for um, I knew where it is so but what if I bring it back all the way and I have no idea where is the important object you see there's a problem you don't really know where the problem is um, you know how do you actually look at it so I've shown before many times the back face coloring idea so I can go and uh, flip normals and in this case this actually shows you it's not manifold because we have these extra faces here inside it's not always going to show non-manifold but in some cases yes this will show like this non-manifold so i can't actually flip it and how will the flip normals actually help so let me actually show you how the flip normals will help so what i'm going to do here is first of all to um to deselect again i mean select again these faces to remove them to make them manifold so i'm selecting everything here i go back here i'm going to remove them so I can flip the normals and I want to show you first what it is and then I'm going to show you how to solve this problem if you have non-manifold how you actually solve them so I'm just going to delete the inside selected faces and now let's go to flip normals um, actually the flip normals are not these faces I know what the problem is. Uh, actually it is okay I thought that I have to go geometrically remove duplicates I may still need to do that because I deleted the faces but I think there was still some duplicate vertices left over no, actually not. I was wrong. Okay. So now flip normals is, is working correctly. So how can flip normals help? It just changes the color outside, inside out. Well, this can help if you turn on the back face calling. So what back face calling is doing, it's actually a tool that is um, showing only the outside. So if everything is flipped the normal way, the correct way, you actually don't see this is on. There's nothing here because it basically shows what it's doing is it, it hides the inside faces and it shows you only the face that is f uh, facing the camera meaning is what you see now so now it's showing this one and technically the faces in the back is hidden so this is a feature that is used a lot in games where they don't want to render things that is not needed to render so the things that is behind that you cannot really see it now is hidden because you cannot see it um, but how does it help because if i rotate now it's the opposite. Now the other side is hidden. And this is really quick. You can't really see it changing. It just shows it's a part of the GPU renders. It shows you only what is visible and only that, nothing else. So how can they show it? But if I flip the normals, it doesn't know what's visible. And it thinks that it's inside out. So in this case, I can see the inside. So if I turn on our back face coloring, um, if it's on, you actually don't see it also because this is kind of... It shows you only the, the side that it's flipped, so it thinks this is facing the camera, and then it's hidden over here. So if something is, is inside over here, you can see it. But it's actually difficult to see because they're the same color. So let me just, just undo the entire thing, um, bring back these inside faces. Okay, so I think I have them inside back, let's see. Yes, yeah, so I have the inside faces over here, and now I can't really flip because it's, it's not manifold. Um, but the thing here is that even if I can, um, you know, it, it's difficult to see because of this. Okay, so 
what are, how am I going to solve this? This is basically what I'm trying to solve. So I need to solve the problem. How can I see the inside and figure out what's wrong? And especially if I cannot flip the normals. So this is actually what I want to show here is that flip normals has two modes. There is something that tries to fix the entire geometry. At the first try, it will try to fix. If it's perfectly fixed, it will flip it. And then next time we'll fix it back. And if only a few faces are flipped, it will flip back and so on. Um, but if you don't do it for the entire object, then it's not going to check manifold. It will just select that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm manually going to select the top and I'm going to flip only the top. So how can I do that? So we're going to go basically in this case, I think deep selection with some tolerance is the best idea. So I'm just going to select this. And now I'm going to flip normals only from this. And now there's no problem with manifold. But now there's another thing also. If I have this uh, calling on, if I don't have it on, look, it, it's still hard to see because this inside color. But if I have this on, it hides the front faces because it's flipped and it thinks it's an inside face. And the back faces is flipped also because it's inside. Before you saw the back faces, because they were flipped, they thought it's facing the camera. But now, actually, it knows it correctly that it's not facing the camera. So it's actually completely empty. And what you see over here is you see these faces. And now, not only is it flipped, but it actually can select them because these the selection works with the same way. So even not turning on the wireframe mode, like the X-ray mode, I can still select them because the selection will check, select the first faces that are facing the camera. And these, because they are flipped, they're not facing the camera. So I can just manually go around and select them and simply delete them. So this is really easy um, to detect because, yeah, as I said, I flipped everything. So kind of, you know, make an incision and, and you can see exactly what it is. So now let me just go and delete these faces. And now it's deleted. You can see it's completely empty. The entire inside is empty. So now I bring back, actually turn off this cooling so I can see it over here. And now what I'm going to do here is actually I'm going to use without any selection, I'm going to use the flip normals again, and now it's able to fix it. You see, fix the normals because it's already manifold, so it has no problem doing it. So now I can flip again the entire object and flip the folder geometry. And now I'm going to have the same issue that you can actually see it, but back faces because I thought this it is, so it's difficult. So flip the entire thing. So basically, in short, it's fixed completely. So in short, what I did here is what we covered is how you can actually in cases if they touch each other just touch you can just merge them and remove duplicates either first delete the faces or merge them and use the option to remove inner faces and it's not duplicates actually inner faces or later use geometrically to remove it but if you have a um, face that is not perfectly aligned these remove interfaces of uh, functionality wouldn't work so in this case you should use a stitch and scoop but you have to make sure the faces are going inside like i've shown you just scale them down a little bit and, and move it inside scale it and move it inside i used a simple extrusion to add an extension to the object and scale it down to move it in um, if you already have a problem and you want to remove it uh, if you know where the problem is the easiest way to remove it is going to the wireframe mode um, making um, marquee selection to 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 basically in an x-ray mode wireframe acts as an x-ray mode so you select everything and then you uh, go back to the regular mode and deselect what's visible. So it stays selected only the hidden faces and then you delete them. Um, but if you don't know what the problem is, where it is, um, the best option is, and, and especially if you have um, faces that you cannot flip normal. So the best option is basically flip normals together with this back face calling function. Um, but uh, sometimes you cannot flip normals and also even if you can, it's difficult to see only if you need to see a hole in this case you basically just select a section and if you flip normals in a section you basically get to see the entire inside and uh, then you clean you can select it this way and clean it up this way um, so that's basically it i hope this was helpful and uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to show anything else thank you bye